That might be my intro. Yeah, I, I'm going to really try to discipline myself to do very short, concise videos. It doesn't matter if I do the longest, most thorough video in the world. If nobody watches it, then it's waste. But if I can get one nugget of information into a two, or two to five minute video, that's more efficient. All right, quick overview. This is our doctor bag. This is going to be our first agency served. It's a doctor's office. It's our first install. It's right next to the hospital. Um, got the TP link, which could be any, th any radio. We're just going with this because it's a short distance. We've got the IP phone, the Grand Stream, 16, 10, or 25. It's the cheap one, and they work, they work just fine. Um, th this is not the battery they're going to be using. We're going to do a LifePo 4, but it's in use right now, so here's just a little 7 amp hour AGM. 24 step up, runs into the HAP AC Light TC, Tango Charlie, and then beautiful design the usb port on the side is five volts which is exactly what the phone needs it's wonderful perfectly streamlined so let's see here listen to inside i'm not gonna go through the whole thing but this is over the mesh it's hitting that TP link. That TP link is going to the dish over there. The dish is going over to one of the nodes over there. And that is going to my main node that is hooked into the internet. But it's not using the internet. It just has access to the internet. This thing boxes up nicely. I, I don't recommend the suction cup. Unless you have a good one. This one is not beefy enough. But it's just for demonstration purposes. Obviously, when I pack it in there nicely, it'll zip up like a normal briefcase. Five or ten bucks at a uh, thrift store. I got a couple of them, I think. But as you can see, this breaks down. You just twist it. And you can do any design you want. This is just for demonstration purposes. When we give it to the uh, doctors, it's going to be complete. Oh, yeah, I've been doing solar today, too. That is one of the things I will add in the second iteration is a foldable solar panel. Now, I'm either going to find a 12-volt or I'm going to take the 5-volt micro USB and put it on a step-up buck. Uh, it's just, I have too many other more important things to do right now than that. The first iteration is going to have a cigarette lighter, 12 volt cigarette lighter for your car, and or the USB, the five volt USB with the step-up buck. These doctors are gonna be deployed to, uh, obviously it's not a sure thing, I haven't been shooting all day. I come out here to shoot the first video and they start banging away. Um, they would be deployed to a Red, Red Cross refugee center or something like that. Um, so they're gonna be near their vehicle. Best case scenario though, is to have a solar panel also. Here's a 30, 30 watt. Having that, that would fold in half, perfect. Real quick, this is the Railink track mix. There's nobody on the other end. That's automatically tracking me. It is a really good, so far, really good, heavy duty. I don't like how it's heavy duty uh, metal and then they have plastic. That's a thumbs down. But in general, the thing has worked flawlessly. It's got a wide angle and a telephoto got infrared and spotlight 
audio both ways. You can talk and hear. $160 on um, eBay, but I'm getting 5% off because I'm handsome. That's what they said. Um, this is a, uh, that's going on our first node. And, and one, two, three. I had to go through like four or five cameras to figure out. I was trying to get a, I've got to scale this. I've got to buy 10 to 20 of them. I was trying to do that with a hundred dollar camera instead of 170. Well, it didn't work out. Oh, I got this idea from Andre Hansen's video. He said something about Marie Calendar pie, pie pan or something. And it's brilliant because I have actually on my home security cameras, home surveillance cameras, I have had certain hours of the day, the sun will hit it and you can't see. Twofold. One, having this over top will do that somewhat, but even more importantly, it keeps the UV and the water from just hammering on the, uh, on the device itself. So obviously I'll paint it, uh, probably gunmetal gray or something. it will be over top of it keeping uh keeping it safe or keeping it the uv may mainly is why i'm doing it the uv and the rain pounding on it because water loves to find weakness and water does find weakness three dollars dollar general and they're metal i bought a couple of these too at the grocery store which were more expensive but All right, that's the uh, that's the update. That's the latest update. One last thing on this. So this has been running all night. A couple days actually. One issue, which is why you test these. This far left wire pulled out I'm pretty sure it's from opening and closing it well I knew there was potentially a problem and I taped them all together so that the three would help the one well that wasn't enough yeah it's a great idea but it's not enough so before I deploy it which will be very soon likely this week I will redo it and I'm even contemplating soldering it. Um, I, I don't know. I haven't made up my mind, but I just, I jammed it back in there and taped it down real hard so I can at least temporarily keep the um, fan going. This, I do recommend this if you want a fixed camera. This is why I decided to get the PTZ rail link. This is the Rayolink, uh, I think it has a 5 Alpha, Alpha 500 something. It's just a fixed 50 something dollar, 60 dollar camera. It is great. It's the same exact quality and user interface as the Track Mix. It's the same user interface, all the good things about the Pan Tilt Zoom. I don't know if it has audio out. But in general, it's a great camera. It just isn't pan tilt zoom. I was so impressed with it on how easy it was to use. And people in the computer and ham radio world say easy, simple, straightforward all the time. And they're full of crap. That was, if I can figure it out like, relatively uh, easily, it is one of the easier things. The user interface is straightforward. The reason I even went to pan tilt zoom is because I bought that, was impressed with it, and all the cameras that I had, that was the best one. I said, okay, if, the, if their lower end camera is good, I'm not sure why the higher end would not. And thus far, I've been correct. This is the solar panel that's gonna be going on the install. I'm going to change out this solar charge controller. These cheap blue ones, 
these cheap sweatshop ones, they actually work really well. I don't even know if this is broken. It could have been the battery. It was on my sailboat for at least two years. My battery was dead, so I just grabbed it on, brought it home. I don't know what went bad. Probably the battery. The, the charge controller could be good. The panel could be good. I just haven't hooked it up and it's been like a year, probably more. I had it in my basement. Um, so that is gonna be the 12 watt, actually it's 13.8, just 14 watt solar panel. It's gonna be sitting over top of my dad's uh, sh uh, shop. It's just there to keep the battery topped off in the event that the power goes out. If the power does go out and he has to use it, it will extend the battery life of the 12 amp hour battery a lot. It's not gonna be indefinite, but during the summer, you could probably get a week or so if there's uh, adequate sun because they draw about a third of an amp well, let me do watts here. I got the numbers so scattered in my head right now. Uh, it's not something for the apocalypse. The, the reason that we're going with a small one is he's going to be running off of grid power. In the event that the power goes out and it has to kick on to battery backup, the chances are that he is going to be there. Two things. One, the chances of the power coming back within 12 hours are very high. Well, he's got a day and a half on that 12 amp hour battery. Let's just say one day. He's got 24 hours to address it. He's gonna have extra plugins. Oh crap, speaking of which, it's running on battery. Okay, well here's an example, it's running off the battery right here. I had to unplug this earlier to set this up and didn't plug it back in, so it's working. Let's see how fast it kicks over. There you go. So this isn't even 12 volts. This battery is probably um, uh, maybe 13 and a half. So that's why it's the RPMs were higher. Let's run this radio. I actually don't need that one on. I wanted to show the guy who came over who, oh, what did I do? Oh, I didn't plug it in, idiot. All right, I'm just kind of go off on a tangent now. Man, see, I am so undisciplined. From the beginning of this video, which was nine and a half minutes ago. Actually, no, that was the first video. So this is like 20 minutes. Yo, I, I'm gonna really try to discipline myself to do very short, concise videos. No, it was six. No, it was five. It was five minutes. It doesn't matter if I do the longest, most thorough video in the world. If nobody watches it, then it's waste. So we're up to 15 minutes now. I, actually, I did do the short video. Maybe I'll just cut. This is horrible.